this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to talk about Sloping Beach. Here is a ship which has a stern trim approaching the beach at 90 degrees to the beach. The beach is gently sloping as soon as the vessel is lightly aground. The meaning of lightly aground is the ship is just about touching without causing any weight on the beach and because the ship is not causing any weight on the beach, the beach is not causing any upthrust because the weight that is caused by the ship on the beach would be equal to upthrust. Lightly aground means upthrust is zero. That means there is just about the physical touching as if there is just about a connection that is made without causing any upthrust or weight either way. So uh, lightly aground means upthrust is equal to zero. So in such a situation and uh, otherwise also I suggest that whenever the vessel is aground you know, it is noticed that the vessel is aground, you must order the sounding or the depth of water all around the ship. So, when the soundings were taken of outside water, it was found that the forward 8.62 and aft 9.68, the slope of the beach is equal to 9.68 minus 8.62 equal to 1.06 meters seawards. Now, trim of the vessel is equal to 9.68 minus 7.60. So, that is equal to 2.08 meters. Once again, uh, after, which means seawards. So, if we uh, look at a situation, suppose this is the coast and here is the water, water level is always horizontal and let us say this is the beach gently sloping, yes, and there is a ship which touches aft, okay, why I say that the ship touches aft, if we compare the outside soundings and if you compare the outside soundings and the draft of the vessel, the draft forward is same as draft aft is same as the sounding aft. So wherever the draft matches the sounding of water, wherever the draft matches the depth of water, by common sense you would say that the vessel is touching at that point. So vessel is touching aft because the draft is 9.68 and the depth is also 9.68. Right, so now uh, uh, the slope of the beach is 1.06 meters seawards and trim of the ship is 2.08 meters seawards. Both have the same name. The slope as well as the trim, both are seawards. And when trim as well as slope is of the same name, we find out the difference of the two and the difference of the two is 1.02 meters and this is equal to trim change. Trim change 1.02 meters will cause the ship to sit all over. So what is the fall of tide required to do this? I want to know what is the fall of tide that will cause a trim change is equal trim change equal to 1.02 meters. We have the usual formula trim change into 100 mctc is equal to P. Now the upthrust will be caused at this point with the fall of water level. So P into LCF. So if we substitute the things in this formula, the values in this formula, we will find out what is the value of P that will cause a trim change of 1.02 meters. So P therefore is equal to uh, 1.02 into 100 into MCTC that is 264 divided by LCF 74 meters. Right, so uh, here we have P into LCF is equal to trim change into 100 MCTC. So P is equal to 100 MCTC into trim change divided by LCF. So let's see how much it is. 1.02 into 100 into 264 equals divided by 74 it gives me 
363.9 tons. So, uh, so, much, so much of up thrust is required at half point so that the trim change of the ship will be 1.02 meters. Now, uh, the vessel uh, throughout this period that is from initial touching till the final uh, settling down remains pivoted and this is this is a situation which is similar to dry docking right so the first ever formula in such a situation such situations is p into lcf is equal to trend change into 100 mctc 363.9 tons is the up thrust with the fall of water level we want to find out what is the fall of water level now uh, 363.9 tons as if it is discharged from a point that is touching the seabed as if we are going to remove this much weight from the ship so when we remove this much weight from the ship what happens is two things happen one is there is bodily rise which is uniform over forward and half the entire length of the vessel and the second thing is the trim change and trim change we know is 1.02 meters so let us apply uh, standard trim format uh, pattern uh, in the question now and in two stages we will find out what is the final draft so we start with the initial draft forward 7.60 that is the initial draft 7.600 9.680 and in the first stage, there is this bodily rise, 363.9 divided by 100 TPC, that is 2900, gives me 0 0.125, 0.125, and that is minus 0.125. Nine point five 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 seven point four seven five. Now there is a trim change of one point zero two meters. This will cause a uh, change of raft aft that is TRA. TRA is the change of raft aft caused because of trim change, and that is equal to TRC into LCF upon LBP. That is equal to 1.02 into LCF, that is uh, 74, divided by LBP, that is 160. 1.02 into 74 gives me 0 0.472. 0 0.472 is TRA. Point 472 and to find out TRF I subtract TRA from TRC as 1.02 gives me 0 0.548 0 0.548 now because we are discharging from aft in a way you know there is a virtual discharge of weight from aft so aft will be negative and if aft is negative forward will be positive so forward draft becomes 8.023 and half draft becomes 9.083 so uh, the trim of the vessel after she sits all over let us see what is the trim of the vessel after she sits all over is the difference of the forward and half draft and the trim on a sitting all over the final trim is 1.06 1 1.06 meters just uh, an observation and you should make a note the trim that is acquired by the ship is the slope of the beach actually once she sits all over she has to have the trim which is same as the slope of the vessel now the final trim therefore is same as the slope of the beach 1.06 meters and this is the standard trim 
format we start with the initial graph bodily rise both negative and then change of trim you know is forward ways when the change of trim is forward ways forward has to be positive and if the forward change is positive half change has to be negative there is a usual formula tr is equal to trc into lcf upon lbp and we get tra as 0.472 meters and total trim change minus tra gives me trf that is 0.548 meters now if we have to find out how much is the fall of water required for this how much fall of water should be there so that the ship trims by 1.02 meters or the ship sits all over so uh, there is a, a, a standard truth which is followed which is applicable in any situation and that uh, that golden rule is change of the draft at point of contact gives you the rise or fall of tide so point of contact is aft and let us see what is the change of draft aft change of draft aft is 9.680 minus 9.083 so that is equal to Point five nine seven meters. So if the tide falls by this amount, that is point five nine seven meters, the ship is going to sit all over. Mind you, the point to be noted here is the fall of tide is only point five nine seven, but the change of trim is much more. Change of trim is one point zero two meters. Or let us put it this way: there is a trim change required. For the ship to sit all over, the, there is a trim change required of 1.02 meters, but a fall of tide of 0.597 is sufficient for this.